All right, everybody, welcome to the video here for lesson number three on synthetic division. So in class, we learned that synthetic division is an alternate method for long division uh, of polynomials. The only trick here is we can only really use it if the denominator is a uh, linear expression, a linear expression also with a coefficient on x of 1, right? There are other ways of doing the other ones. They're just more challenging, so we're just going to kind of keep it simple here. <clears throat> so if I want to do synthetic division for this example, I'm going to start by figuring out, well, what makes the divisor 0? So the x value that would make that 0 would be 2. Essentially, it's always in the opposite of whatever's there because of what we're doing. Then I'm going to take the coefficients, which are 1, 4, negative 27 and 30, and put them on my first line. First coefficient comes down. To get the next number, we're going to multiply what's in the jail to the 1. So that would be 2. To get the next number underneath the line, I'm going to add the 4 and 2 together, which makes 6. 2 times 6 makes 12, and I'm just going to keep repeating the process until I get to the last line. For today's lesson, the last line should always end at zero. The reason why is there should be no remainder today. We will do ones with remainders later on. So now we can go through and write our polynomial. Remember the first number after the zero is going to be the constant, then the x term, then the x squared term, etc. cetera. <clears throat> so another one. The number that makes this zero is negative two. I'll put in a whoa. What just happened there? Okay. I'll put in my coefficients. 3, 4, 7, and 22. 3 comes down. 2 times negative, oh, negative 2 times 3 is negative 6. That makes 4, and that makes negative 22. I'm just doing my repeated process over and over again. So then I have 3x squared minus 2x plus 11. Number 3 was more challenging only because of the decimals involved, but we can all multiply decimals because we all have a calculator. So there really shouldn't be any issue with doing this one, but we'll, we'll see. 1 comes down. 1 times a half is just a half. A half times 3 is 1.5. A one and a half, which makes this negative six. A half times negative six is negative three, which in turn gives me the zero that I want. So then we could go through and write our answer. Not too bad, just some decimal work. Use your calculators. Number four is a little bit tricky just because of the zeros, right? We needed to know there was a one coefficient and two zero coefficients, one for x squared and one for x. The one comes down at negative five. 25 and negative 125. Remember, you're adding vertically, you're multiplying outside of the jail. So this becomes x squared minus 5x plus 25. Number five says to use two methods to do this last problem. So the first one I'll do the easy one, I'll do the synthetic division. So I'll put the one in the jail. <clears throat> we have one, negative two, two, negative two, and one. The one comes down. 1 times 1 is 1, 1 times negative 1 is negative 1, 1 times 1 is 1, 1 times negative 1 is negative 1, leaving a 0. Notice I have four coefficients, so that means I'm going to start with x cubed. To make my four terms. The other method we know how to do is long division. So if we put in our long division here, <clears throat> first term we're going to have is x cubed, which gives us x to the fourth minus x cubed. Remember that becomes a minus, this becomes a plus because we're subtracting the lines. So I have negative x cubed plus 2x. Next term I have is negative x squared, which gives me negative x cubed <clears throat> plus x squared. This is going to become a minus, so that becomes just 1x squared, and then negative 2x comes down. Next thing we have here is a plus x. That gives me an x squared and a minus x. These cancel, that becomes a plus. Negative 1x and a plus 1. 
minus 1 gives me the same thing twice. So when you subtract, they have a remainder of nothing. There's your answer in two different methods. Hopefully this video helped. Uh, you will have a quick quiz this week, either tomorrow or the day after. Uh, so you will have to know how to divide, probably one of each, one long division, one synthetic division. Um, but I'll leave it open to you. Good luck.